So there's been a lot of debate on the internet on who's more annoying. Is it Brie Larson as Captain Marvel or is it Rachel Segler as Snow White? And I gotta go with Rachel Segler. Like straight up, this woman is extremely annoying. And no, this is not coming from a guy who hates women, who thinks women are the worst, who hates feminism. This is not coming from that perspective. I don't care if this is a woman or a man. If anyone acted the way Rachel's acting right now, they will be criticized equally. This is kind of a follow up to my last video on Rachel Segler and the whole Snow White situation because a lot of you guys were telling me that I missed some things on her Twitter account. So I went back to the Twitter account and I don't know how I missed these fucking clips. I'm a thousand percent sure this was after all the backlash she's been getting recently for the last three, four days because of the way she's been acting, because of the way she's treating the character and how much it seems like she straight up hates this character. So she retweeted this video targeting all the people who hate her. I feel like my threshold for like bullshit with men is, is just, I don't have one anymore. It's kind of sad that Rachel thinks everyone hates her because she's a woman. That's not why people hate you. People hate you and dislike you. And I don't even think hate is the correct word. I think people who are sending you death threats, I think those people are fucking corny. It's just the movie. It's just a person with a very shitty take. She deserves criticism. She doesn't deserve, hey, I hope you die in a fire with your puppy and your boyfriend. It's like, no, that's too far. But a big part of why you're getting so much quote unquote hate is because you keep talking bad about the character. Just look at this clip from Jimmy Kimmel. When she almost slips up and says, yeah, when people recognize me as Snow White, it's the worst, but she catches herself mid-interview. Have you ever been to that Snow White ride at Disneyland? I get stopped for photos every time I'm online for the Snow White ride, and it is the, I have to pretend like, oh God, <laughs> well crazy that we're in front of this. Wait, how often are you in line for the Snow White ride? <laughs> I'm a narcissist. <laughs> and my question is, if you don't like the character, leave the movie and give the job to someone else who needs it or who actually wants it. I'm sure there's a thousands and not millions of people who would love to play Snow White. For some unlikable little prick like Rachel to be like, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll fucking do the movie. Just pay me. I don't care. I'm just here for the money. And you're acting like an ungrateful spoiled brat, like straight up. And then she retweeted this clip. <laughs> Once again, going with the whole narrative of, yeah, it's only stupid men who don't like me. It's incels. It's people who are fucking losers who don't like me. And it's not 1945, so the princess doesn't need to be rescued by some man. Ew, man. I hate men. It's kind of sad that she thinks the reason why people are not liking her, why people are trying to boycott this movie, and why the movie's gonna flop. Once again, it's kind of sad and tragic that this is the way she thinks. She can't see reality here. Rachel, people don't hate you because you're a woman. People dislike you a lot because of the way you come across. I really hope someone sits Rachel down, plays her the clips of her talking about Snow White and the people. I don't know, maybe she's blind, maybe she's deaf, maybe she can't hear, I don't know what's wrong with her. Stop with the whole, oh, you hate me because I'm a woman. No, are you back in 2016, 2017? Your gender isn't relevant here. It's your actions as a human being. And just a few days ago, she tweeted this, I love you very much, forever and ever. Remember to be kind, be kind. Are you really telling us to be kind after you bullied someone? and you send your fans to bully someone else in case you guys missed it this was on my last video is this really coming from you guys be kind to me because i'm getting so much shit right now <laughs> treat each other with patience and empathy remember that you're in love no matter your mistakes no matter your misunderstandings you deserve it you deserve love you deserve to live without fear is she talking to us or is this a tweet for her and like i always say it's always the people who are preaching for positivity and inclusivity and being nice and be kind they're usually the most disgusting meanest motherfuckers you will ever meet in your entire life and the top reply is so when are you going to apologize to gina carano which is the woman that had the whole funny pronoun thing and then rachel was like that's not funny and sent her fans to attack her now you're getting a taste of your own medicine it's not so funny when you're on the other side of things is it says the hypocrite who sent her fans to bully someone just because she didn't agree with her and everyone's saying yeah you're a hypocrite you're a liar when are you gonna apologize to gina and the only reason why she's acting like this is because of all the hate she's getting i think some of it is a bit too crazy like sending her death threats i don't think that helps anyone if anything it makes our points look even worse but some people deserve some valid criticism and this is one of those times so then she retweeted this post from a fan account rachel loves snow white and of course to prove to the world that she actually loves it despite everything she said in the past she virtual signals and shares this post i love being snow white doesn't ever get old but just like two months ago you were on jimmy kimmel and said you're sick of it every time i'm online for the snow white ride and it is the i have to pretend which is it then we have this picture of her with the doll i'm pretty sure after this photo was taken she fucking threw that shit yet again another picture to prove that hey 
you know? I actually do love Snow White, despite all this shit I've been talking about it. <laughs> I love it, guys. I mean, here's a picture of me with Snow White. And this person says, having your publicist label a few pics doesn't make anyone forget the half dozen interviews you've given that clearly shows how much you loathe Snow White and what it stands for. Yet all she does is say negative stuff about it. This doesn't sound like love to me. Rachel's a fucking liar, and I actually hope she gets dropped by Disney. Like, this woman... <laughs> It's so fucking crazy. She hates all men and she thinks the only people who are criticizing are men. And newsflash, there's a lot of women who don't like you either. If we're incels, are those female incels because they don't blindly agree with you? Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you have to agree with her blindly. If there was ever a situation where the guy was acting like this, if they casted a new Spider-Man and he was like, oh yeah, I fucking hate Spider-Man and I hate Tom Holland's performance and Andrews and Toby. I never wanted to be Spider-Man. Everyone would be on that guy's ass if he was supposed to be cast as a brand new Spider-Man. Yet every single time he talks about it, he's like, yeah, Spider-Man, you know, is this and lame and I hate him and I don't like what he stands for, but I got the job so now I have to pretend like I like him. And they would also be receiving all of this backlash and it's not because women hate men or because men hate men. It's because you're a shitty person regardless of your gender. I don't care if you have a pussy or you have a fucking dick. If you're annoying, you're annoying, period. I don't care what you have or don't have. It's how you behave as a fucking human being. That's all that matters. If you're acting like a shit human being, well, you're gonna be called out regardless of what you have i'm not against feminism i don't hate women <laughs> i don't want all women to die or anything i don't belong to that crowd and i think most people who are calling you out don't belong to it either to put it simply you're just an entitled brat who hates the character yet you get the role and that's why people don't like you in case you needed to simplify to rachel segler terms because i don't know maybe you're fucking stupid but that's why people don't like you and hope this message came across to everyone and it's so funny that she feels like she needs to retweet these pictures being like yeah, it's, I, I love Snow White. Come on now. I love it. It's my favorite character. Somehow it actually makes you look worse. What made you want to step into this world of DC heroes? I needed a job. I'm being so serious. I, I mean, a lot of people keep asking me. Hi, Adam. My, my agent's over there. But with that said, what do you guys think of this situation? Are you guys rocking with Snow White? Are you going to watch the movie? In my opinion, this movie's fucking over. It's supposed to come out March of 2024, and we have no trailer. We have no teaser trailer. We have nothing. I truly believe if the trailer doesn't drop or a teaser, if nothing drops by October, I think we could safely say the movie's in danger. And I can't feel bad for her or Disney. Fuck Disney, actually. Disney's doing this by hiring people who don't even respect the product. I gotta go drink water. But before I do that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will really appreciate it. Turn on notifications so you don't miss my so you don't miss my next banger. And with that said, I'll see you next time. All right, peace. I know it's always like my my publicist Ashton was with me the last time it happened and I was like god I hope no one because every time they come up to me I'm always online for this freaking ride and they, they think I'm it's like I'm standing there waiting for the photo op being like well you kind of are you know no, I guess like so. I'm a narcissist <laughs> <laughs>